It's your boy Roger D and today we've got another video and um, technically it's good to be a talking head video uh, with a few images because the hard drive that I was meant to be reviewing is kind of in another laptop and basically I'm going to talk about the results and kind of speeds and as it's coming up to Christmas season I thought it would be a good chance to talk about it because most people were like right I'm going to take loads of pictures and I really want to have like a decent storage for my laptop. So we're going to be talking about the Shiba L200 laptop hard drive and it runs at 54 rotations per minute. Yes, it is kind of slow, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter about that. It just matters about you can get the storage and you need something that's going to last and make sure your data is going to be well kind of like secured. So that's the whole point of it. Um, so they're coming to like two, well, three different flavors. So you've got one terabyte, you've got two terabyte and a 500 gigabyte version. I don't know why I've done it in those different ways. But anyway, it's nice to have a little laptop hard drive that only cost around 40 pound. Now, 40 pound for a terabyte hard drive is very good because you can put it in your laptop. It's really thin. It's a 2.5 inch hard drive and you can just literally put it in there and store all your information. Now, it's not the fastest hard drive in the world because obviously you've got 7,200 RPM speeds and then you've got um, SSD, well you've got hybrid hard drives and then you've got um, Optane hard drives, then you've got normal M.2 hard drives, then you've got NVMe hard drives, then you've got PCI RAID um, hard drives and the way that I just spoke about it is how fast it really does end up, you're looking at like 700 and something megabytes per second or even faster than that actually, I think it's more like 3000 and something megabytes. That is a lot, considering the speeds that you're gonna be getting from this mechanical hard drive. But this is a mechanical hard drive, and it's made really well. Just Even though it's running on a disc, it kind of a bit shockproof. It's better than all the other hard drives that used to be made back in the day. Um, loads of people think that hard drives might be obsolete and stuff like that, but it's not. Technically, hard drives are still very used commonly so if you're going to talk about Facebook or even Google or uh, this is a better way of the, talking about this so say that a video goes viral that will be on say Facebook or YouTube's SSD and that means that people can access it and it runs really quickly have you ever noticed when you're on your phone or your laptop that you watch a video that you might find it's good but it's not trending at the moment and you found it out because it's using the algorithm to search for what videos you would like, but it's still quite popular. What it is, is that that viral video that was viral is on a mechanical hard drive. Being it's on a mechanical hard drive, it's slow to buffer, so you might think it's on the road that you're on your phone or on laptop and you think, mm, it's not working very fast, why does it keep buffering and stuff like that? And then you notice that a video is trending right now, today, and basically you watch that video and it's just simply really easy and really quick. Those videos that are trending now are on SSDs. So all the popular videos are basically on SSDs and all the ones that are not are archived on mechanical hard drives. So Facebook and Google and YouTube, they all use mechanical hard drives, but they use SSDs. So the most, because SSDs are still quite expensive at the moment from a gigabyte price point. But when it comes to mechanical hard drives, they're still commonly well used, so. So who is the L200 Toshiba hard drive for? Well, it's for people that want to back up their storage, like old school videos, um, pictures, data, anything like that, and they want a secured way of doing it, and also want to transfer from the old SSD or old hard drive out of their original laptop, and they want to just swap this in. It runs on SATA, and obviously a SATA connector, connection uh, so it's very simple to easily do it. it's a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive and it's a bit more stable than most SSDs that you or not SSDs more mechanical 2.5 inch hard drives that you normally get when you buy a laptop so that's what I would suggest so if you needed a hard drive and you didn't want to spend too much money and for a terabyte that is very good around 40 pound 
even probably less. Link in the description down below if you want to go and check that out and obviously swap one out because you need one in your laptop as soon as possible. This is the best way of doing it. Um, it's also got a six gigabyte uh, transfer rate, which is better than three gigabyte, but it's still rotations per minute at 54,000 which is still quite slow. So technically you can still use it to do things, but I wouldn't suggest using it for video editing or anything like that, but you can drag the data to an SSD if you've got two slots for hard drives. So you can use that one as a backup. And then the other one, you can just obviously put on the data and then swap from data. Like if you want to edit like a video clips or whatever, and you don't mind waiting around, just swap that to SSD, then you can start video editing. Simple as that. Anyway, it's been your man Roger D. Hope this video has been helpful. Comment, subscribe, don't forget about that, hitting that notification bell, and I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching, Roger and out.